One way to sample for earthworms is to conduct a mustard extraction. Performing a mustard extraction is the most effective form of earthworm collection because it allows us to collect and identify all types of earthworms, including litter dwelling, soil dwelling, and deep burrowing earthworms. In this video, Dr. Cameron will show you how to do a mustard extraction to sample for earthworms. In order to conduct a mustard extraction, the following steps are used. Once the sample site is prepared, prepare the mustard water by mixing 2 litres of water and 20 grams of mustard powder. Next, slowly pour half of the mustard water into the sample site. Over a period of 5 minutes, gather any worms that come to the surface, being careful to wait until they are completely out of the ground. After 5 minutes, pour the remaining mustard water into the sample area and again wait 5 minutes gathering any remaining earthworms that come to the surface. Let's watch Dr. Cameron conduct a mustard extraction in the forest. So now I'm going to sample using the mustard. This is 20 grams of mustard in two liters of water. And the mustard acts as an irritant to the skin of the earthworms. So they come out of the ground to try to escape it then I'm able to collect them. It doesn't kill them or anything like that. So you have to mix up the, the mustard solution quite a bit because it tends to solidify on the bottom. Okay. Then I pour one liter of half of this on the soil first. Then normally I have to wait uh, five minutes to see if any earthworms come out of the soil. Okay, there's a, a little one coming out right now. So it's important to let them uh, come out of the soil entirely before you pick them up uh, because they're, they'll grab on with their tails otherwise. So here I've got three little earthworms so far and you can see a big one uh, emerging from the, the burrow that I had pointed out in the middle of the plot before. And now he's totally out of the soil, so I can pick him up. And I put the earthworms in a, a vial filled with water until I can take them back to the lab to identify them. So after five minutes, uh, I'm able to pour the rest of the mustard solution on. So after another five minutes, I'm able to look through the surface to see if I've missed any worms. Now that you have seen how to perform a mustard extraction, consider the following questions. Why would we only count the earthworms that emerge from within our sample area and not outside of it? And why do you think it is important to wait five minutes each time we pour the mustard water?